Next is the echoic. This verbal operant has point-to-point -point correspondence and has the same form between the stimulus and response. What does that mean? This is simply matching a verbal stimulus. For example, the client can say roar when you say roar. It has formal similarity, which means that both sound the exact same. It's mimicking a vocal stimulus. I say ball, you say ball. I say cat, you say cat. I say water, you say water. A learner may echo sounds, words, and phrases. Some learners may have a difficult time producing sounds spontaneously and require an echoic program. So teaching a learner to echo is an important part of verbal behavior development. My first experience that truly brought me and the entire team to tears was when I was working with a four or five year old boy, let's call him D. He had been at the center for about a year and a half never produced any functional sounds or words. He was quiet for the most part. The team had tried every procedure to get him talking and they didn't have much luck. One day I decided to sit down with him after school while I was waiting for his parents to pick him up. He had great imitative skills. If you said do this, he would do almost anything. So that day I decided to say, do this, buh. And he looked at me and said, buh, without a problem. A coworker who was there as well turned around and stood shocked that he just produced his first sound in four years. We both started cheering and high-fiving him. We were beyond excited, so excited that we made him cry. Thankfully, our excitement wasn't so aversive because the next day we continued trying this procedure and he said sounds and words. We videotaped it and showed it to his mom. She was thrilled.